What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Mono Green Tron, and that is a Keeper Hand. That is Tower Power Plant Mine. Sanctum of Ugin. We keep, we're setting up for that turn four Kozilek Butcher of Truth. Hopefully, our opponent isn't faster than that, but we likely have a turn three play. We have the O Stone. We have backup. I'm feeling pretty good about this hand. And we are against another Tron deck. Very nice. Hopefully Eldrazi Tron. You send a GL back. He said good luck. And we'll start off power plant to power plant. Expedition map to expedition map. They have a tower. And we'll continue to copy. And we are just mirroring at this point. There's the mine. Yeah, he, uh, he said GG's here. Yep. We may be able to get this. They're going to go for the power plant. We will crack the expedition map. Grabbing power plant. We're not giving up, but it's definitely going to be rough. That's going to make it rough. Well, we'll play the power plant and pass turn. Ancient stirrings, they are grabbing. Worm coil engine. If they have another land, they can play it this turn. Yep. Yeah, yep, they got it. Well, we are two turns away. I'm not giving up just yet. Because we still have fetches, so we can still get Tron here. However, they are one big threat away from having it. They might not have, we'll see. Quite a bunch of lands. Going to take some damage there. We 
we'll take the mine. They have Ghost Quarter. No, they got Blast Zone. All right. Their hand is mostly lands at this point, so we're still not out of it yet. We're two turns away from Kozilek if they don't interact with our lands, but we start recovering with the Worm Coil next turn. It's just a matter of what they draw. Acceptable. Ooh, that is tempting. It'll force their hand to use that. So we'll go ahead and just get rid of their creature here. Which is a bit of a mistake because they will just sack the um, Oblivion Stone in response. I did not think of that. <sighs> yep, not my best move. I got excited by seeing Karn. Should probably have just gone for the Warm Coil Engine. And he gets a, something else. He gets his Karn. Yep. What does he hit? If he hits the mine, I think we're... Nope, he's consistent. That would be the point where I just lost this. And no lucky draw. All right, we get rid of the Ugans, bring in the Nature's Claims. I'll take the Warping Rail, get rid of this member, and the All's Dust. Give this a try. Pretty much it comes down to who hits a Karn first. And he's got the advantage having won that game. Uh, whoever's on the play really has the advantage, but they're 50-50 matchups. We almost got there had he not drawn the Karn and had I held on to my Karn. So yeah, I should have gone Worm Coil Engine. I would have bought more time than... Alright, taking the play, and Tron in hand plus threat again, we will keep. There's a power plant. There's a power plant. Usually, if you, whoever lands a Karn turn three, either Karn is the one who wins. So, if we draw a Warping Well, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, no reason not to at this point. We'll take a Karn Liberated.
And I think we're going to just do the same play as last time. Or same play he just did. Play Karn. And then I think with both Karns, we're going to have the land control. That'll make it very hard to come back from. Two Karns is... One Karn is usually game. Two Karns is definitely game. He does get tower. I've had pretty good starting hands both games though on that. If it was if any other matchup besides Tron v Tron, I would have had a much better game there even on the play. And yeah, this is um, this is an awesome Tron game here for me. Um, it's always 50-50, so whoever gets luckiest in the opening hand, pretty much. Whoever gets their turn three, and whoever's, if both players have the turn three, whoever's on the play. He's going to give it a try. I almost feel bad about this. Go for the liquid metal. And we'll see who gets Tron first in the last game. Definitely going to be a mulligan on this one. We need... Tr okay. We'll keep that. Um, What do we pitch? Probably the Sylvan Scrying, honestly. I'm going to go for that Ancient Stirrings hoping to get Tron, but we've got backup of everything, I bet. Hopefully they're consistent and going for Power Plant over mine again. Um, because that works out in their favor. They're down to a mulligan to four, so that's good for us.
All right, we're still waiting on him here. So let's look. Oh, he's on a mold of three. That's rough. I've been there though. It, it's not impossible. So he's going to be hoping I don't find gas, pretty much. He's going to crack. Ooh, Ancient Stirring. So it's a pretty nice three. And he got another Tron land. Nice. In a weird state where I'm, I'm. Oh, that's probably gonna be game. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We'll take an extra tower. But yeah, we've got decent threats here. Um, yeah, be weird state where I want to win, but at the same time I'm hoping he gets something just because I've been there on the mold of three. And yeah, Karn's probably going to be the uh, end of this. RNG does happen, and at least this time it didn't happen to me. He's, he put up some good games, though. Tron v Tron matchup is not anyone's favorite to play, and I know it's not everyone's favorite to watch too, because uh, I, I see the numbers on these videos on what gets watched. You know what we would be fun? I'm halfway tempted to do this. Oh, he's saying, I'll try to don't want to give up the trophy dream. Yeah. Oh, I, I, uh, oh, no, he scoops. All right. Well, I, I was going to go. I, I was really tempted. I was tempted here uh, to go for the Karn reset, give him that second shot, but I was going to have that Thrag Tusk in my uh, Worm Coral Engine in field. Would have been rough, but. Actually, no, that probably would have been game still because it's over the, yeah, he would have been dead in two turns. 
But yeah, no. He would have needed near perfect hands to live. He would have needed uh, Tron in hand plus Walking Ballista to have a hope. And the Walking Ballista would just be the sacrifice on that reset. But yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. This is Tectonic Hitch signing out.